It's been called the iPhone of electric scooters, and for good reason. The Unagi Model 1 might be the most reviewed electric scooter in existence, receiving tons of coverage since the company's Kickstarter debut in 2018. Then in 2020, they did something totally unique, a monthly subscription service. In 2021 came the announcement of the Model 11, and more on that later. And this year, they bring us the Model 1 Voyager, the latest update to their iconic scooter. The Model 1 is one of the most elegantly designed scooters on the market with eye-catching colors, clean one-piece aluminum frame, and exotic materials like magnesium alloy in the handlebars and a stem made from the same carbon fiber used by SpaceX. Unagi set out to make scooters cool in the early days of Xiaomi M365s and shared scooters, becoming a little bit of a celebrity itself because apparently when stars ride electric scooters, they ride Unagis. The most notable of all being Billie Eilish, who's been seen on her Unagi for years from Coachella to a recent Apple documentary. Unagi's blended fashion and function better than any other company, but does the product actually live up to its strong image? We've hands-on tested 127 different scooters, including the original Unagi, now called the Model 1 Classic, and the new Voyager. And this is our ultimate Unagi review. Unagis are the best hill climbers you can buy outside of the more expensive performance enthusiast category. And somehow on this iteration, we tested ours at still 12% faster. They have fast acceleration thanks to being the only dual motor design under $1,000. And their exceptional build quality and exotic materials makes them ultra lightweight and extra reliable. But we'll be straight with you, since 2019, they've also been known for being a more premium brand and having two very specific shortcomings, which we'll get to in a minute. This is Paul from Electric Scooter Guide, and today we're looking at the Model 1 Voyager, the latest from one of the coolest scooter makers and the only company to offer their scooters by monthly subscription. In fact, I was surprised to learn that more people subscribe to Unagis than own them. Stars may love Unagi, but I like that the company has also made it easy for people who might not have $1,000 to drop on a scooter up front. The subscription service lowers the bar to entry so almost anybody can lease an Unagi month to month with full servicing coverage and affordable theft insurance. This way, people can try a scooter out before they buy one or just keep leasing. And unlike financing, which many other companies offer, with a lease, if you decide that scooters just aren't for you, you can just send it back for free. But now, Unagi is one-upping themselves with the Voyager, an updated Model 1 scooter that improves on the good but also repeats some of the bad of their earlier scooters. But let's start with the good. My favorite new feature is a larger battery for much more range while still staying at about 30 pounds. Way faster charging, getting from 0 to 80%, twice as fast as before, 25% higher voltage for more efficient operation and even faster hill climbing. The new Unagi Voyager is also Bluetooth enabled and finally has an app. New colors make the already elegant design even more likely to induce compliments from complete strangers. The Voyager has four new distinctive colorways that'll stand out on any city street. Deep cobalt blue, cool mist green, matte black, and latte. We've found little fault with Unagi's outstanding build quality over the years, and we've especially been fans of its Star Trek-like dashboard and controls, which has also gotten eight or so smaller usability improvements since the classic, including clearly showing whether you're in single or dual motor mode and easier control via the buttons. And of course, Unagi still makes the only lightweight entry-level scooter with dual motors on the market. By comparison, the mid-tier dual motor Varla Pegasus weighs over double the Unagi at 66 pounds to the Voyager's 30.2. The Voyager still has a good lighting profile, though you might want to add an additional helmet light if you ride at night. And the Voyager still has the same strong, simple, and safe electronic braking of the Model 1 Classic in both motors. But here's where the Model 1 Voyager really outshines its predecessor. While it might look almost identical on the outside, the Voyager uses better, larger battery cells for 12 miles of tested range. That's 40 to 70% more than our tests of the Classic, despite riding the Voyager 17% faster. And you can expect more if you don't ride it in top performance mode like we did. The Voyager's updated display is bright, attractive, and easy to read, but now it also syncs with an app, a feature Unagi's riders have wanted for a long time. The app looks great, like the Voyager's display. It's got an intuitive layout and a unique way to track range. More on that in just a moment. One thing people don't know about Unagi's, pro tip, you actually get better range in dual motor mode than single motor and at a pretty good cruising speed, somewhere between 12 to 15 miles per hour. Unagi's always been more tech forward and the new app from their software 
software team, something which few scooter companies have really shows it. People can manage their subscriptions through the app and it has a remote locking and unlocking feature for the scooter. And what we're even more excited about is that since they built this themselves and because they need to deliver ongoing value to subscription customers, we have every reason to believe improvements to the app will just keep coming. Stay tuned for our interview with Unagi where you'll hear more about what's coming next. Now for the bad, as promised, we have to let you know that with an ultra lightweight scooter, you get the converse of less range. This has always been one of the top two things that Unagi riders have complained about over the years. We're known for doing real world testing on every vehicle we review. And with the Model 1 Classic, you get about 8.5 miles of range, which could be enough for you if you're looking for something more affordable. The flagship upgrade of the Model 1 Voyager fixes that problem, adding 40 to 70% more range while gaining only a pound more weight and staying at about 30 pounds. There's always a trade-off between weight and range, and we think that most people who get Unagis prefer the benefit of light weight over extra range. We think this new range value is pretty impressive given how little the weight has gone up, and that new and existing riders are gonna love the improved performance. They also have a new distance to empty feature. It's the most advanced we've seen in the category, factoring in rider weight, what riding mode you're using, and even whether you're riding on flat ground or not. While point number one, range, has dramatically changed for the better with the new Voyager, point number two, ride smoothness and shock absorption, unfortunately have not. Model 1 Voyager uses the same 7.5 vented solid tires as its predecessor. We've tested it plenty and definitely need to make you aware of this trade-off. The main benefit of these tires is that they're totally worry-free and you don't need to check tire pressure or inflate them. And you'll never ever get a flat tire. After all, no one wants to walk home pushing a scooter with a flat tire, especially Unagi riders who tend to be pretty busy people. And have you replaced a road bike tire? Scooter tire changers offer their own unique challenges as well, given the wider variance across models, lack of bike shop ecosystem equivalent, and the smaller wheels. While Unagi is going for more of a mass market appeal, their scooters have never been for everyone. They're definitely not for people chasing max stats, even if it costs weight or sleek design, though a few of its stats do really stand out. And it's also not going to appeal to riders who just wanna buy the absolute cheapest product possible. However, they are for people who want a portable urban commuter and something they can take into the coffee shop or leave on display in their living room. In a world where lots of scooters have gotten faster, more complicated, and heavier, Unagi has held the line, keeping its focus on ease of use, peace of mind, and short distance rides. And that means keeping things premium, simple, and lightweight. The Voyager continues the Model 1's commitment to zero maintenance. It's pretty unusual, but there's literally nothing to adjust or maintain on this scooter. And it's tens of thousands of subscribers will tell you that the solid tires work just fine if you know what to expect and steer clear of bumps and potholes. These first two are very similar, so I'll describe them together. The U-Scooter's GT Sport and Fluid Mosquito both offer a little more utility because they fold up even smaller and a lot more top speed, but at the expense of simplicity and design and a sleek brand with app features. And despite having full suspension, their ride quality in some cases is actually worse. And of course, to get one, you'll need to pay over $1,000 up front. On the other hand, if you want better ride quality, both the Apollo Air and the eMove Touring are good choices. The Apollo Air also has excellent range at almost 20 miles, but you'll definitely notice the extra eight pounds when you carry it. The eMove Touring's larger deck and high rider weight limit make it a favorite among heavier riders. But even though it's known for reliability, the build quality and design of the Unagi are just on another level. Fun fact, Unagi's founder and CEO, David Hyman, is also the founder of MOG, an early Spotify competitor, which was then acquired by Beats by Dre, leading to him becoming the CEO of the Beats Music half of the business before Beats was acquired by Apple and in a way became Apple Music. Hyman's sense of style and music connections helped make the Model 1 a favorite for celebrities, but his mission has always been to keep things practical and approachable, and that's easy to see in the Unagi Voyager. For the urban commuter, we can highly recommend Unagi's Model 1 Voyager with a few caveats. The Voyager may be the scooter you want to lease instead of buying. It'll cost subscribers an extra $10 a month versus leasing the original Model 1 Classic, but it could be worth the money for new connectivity, new colorways, and added range. The subscription model also means you'll be first in line for whatever comes next, similar to how you might upgrade your iPhone. 
For details on the Model 1 Voyager and Classic, check out the description below. We'll keep it updated with the best available discounts. Lovers of the Model 1 were anxiously awaiting last year for the Model 11, an aspirational scooter with full suspension, some insane features, and even more premium materials. Unfortunately, that scooter never made it to production, given the company's all-in pivot towards their subscription service. Given the investment of over a million dollars they put into the Model 11, we at least find it respectable that they were able to refund customers in a time when other failed crowd funds didn't and still released the Voyager. And we're really excited for what may come next in 2024. So keep an eye out for our upcoming podcast interview. Finally, Unagi's return policy also deserves some attention. From its very beginnings, Unagi has had quite possibly the boldest return policy of any scooter company with a strong warranty in addition to their famous 30-day no-risk trial that covers free shipping both ways and doesn't have to be new. It's obviously costly to do this, but clearly Unagi believes in their product. The Model 1 Classic is a scooter I've personally used on a near daily basis in San Francisco because it's such a great hill climber pound for pound. It goes in my trunk easily and it looks great. And the new Model 1 Voyager is just better. Still lightweight, powerful, and fast. Only now it's got app connectivity, longer range, and even more style. 